this right here, carrot, celery, onion, in a fancy French kitchen is called mirepoix. And that's the base for everything, for a stock, for a soup, um, for a sauce, for a glaze, for a roast that goes into the oven, for a ham. These three vegetables will carry you into that flavor that you're looking for, that base flavor, that, that, that bold kind of, um, like ball and chain flavor of a, of a, of a meal. Like it's, it's, it tastes rich. Like if you ever been to, uh, New Orleans, they do the same thing, but they call it the Holy Trinity. They put peppers in it. So it's carrot, onion, celery, pepper. Um, other cultures have different things they add. Um, but most every single soup has started this way. Um, so next thing, big old kind of daunting butternut squash. So I love this vegetable because of its, you know, pack load of nutrients. Um, it's fiber content, but the greatest thing is it's is it's um, shelf life. So this this squash, you've seen it at the store. Who knows how old it is when you buy it, but it doesn't really matter. It should be firm. The best way to work with this is to trim a piece off. Like you're not going to cut out this whole thing and put it in a soup for five people. This would feed 20 people. So cut with cut what you need, and you can freeze the rest. Um, or you can wrap the rest in plastic and it'll wrap, it'll last quite a while in your fridge. We're talking, you know, three weeks, it'll last in there. So what I'll do real quick, um, it, it should not be daunting to use one of these squashes, but take, take the stem end, cut that off, sharp knife, and then use your same knife, use two hands if you need to, and then just work with a smaller piece. So now I've cut a smaller piece and I can start to work with that. So I'll take my peeler, Give a quick stir to this. You can all see this. There's no oil in there, um, but you can see the flavor and the juice of the onion is starting to come out and it's starting to caramelize, which is what I want. So that's that flavor that's building. There's flavor that's building on the bottom of the pan. It's called bond. And so all this is possible with no liquid in there. And I said we were gonna add water to saute, but I haven't needed it yet. There hasn't been any major sticking. Um, there's just flavor coming out of the vegetables and that's good. There's no oil, there's no fat, there's no grease. It's just the water from the vegetables. So same thing, squash, just hold your peeler, um, work, work towards your hand. This peeler is designed to be pulled towards you, but it can also be used to push away from you like this. I can, I can also, be extra safe and push away from me and hold it kind of like a, like a violin. Um, so, uh, squash, once again, flat surface, I'll cut down and then I'll make my cubes. I have a perfect block like this. So really rustic cuts here, nothing fancy. And I've got my cubes of squash, beautiful, healthy, delicious. Next is a little seasoning. So I have I have a fennel seed here, just the whole fennel seed, and a tiny bit of red chili flake. Um, very common spices, very inexpensive, but tons of flavor here. So um, there's nothing I need to do to this. I don't need to grind it. I'm gonna put the seeds right into the pan, and they will toast as the vegetables cook. Same with this chili flake, the tiny pinch. I'm not looking for heat here. Um, it's not gonna be spicy, but what the red chili flake does is balance everything. And so like anything, like making a cake or or a sauce, you want you want balance. So that, that chili flake helps with that, just a tiny bit. Um, next is the salt we talked about. So for this salt, I'm gonna use my, my trusty baleen with a little whale sea salt. I'm gonna put it in my hand first, about an eighth of a teaspoon to start. And what that's gonna do is help draw out the moisture in the vegetables. Um, so that's what I want. I want maximum flavor that's gonna stay in that soup and stay in that pot. And the salt will help draw that out. So salt helps draw out moisture. Here you go. That goes in. And then I also have a pepper grinder. A couple cracks from pepper. About eight cracks. Um, mix that around. And that'll help draw the moisture out. That'll help flavor the base of the soup once again. I also have bay leaf. Um, you can find these dried or or fresh. And they might be fresh in the refrigeration section at Whole Foods. Um, the fresh ones have much more floral flavor, um, kind of earthy, kind of, it smells like you're outdoors. It's, it's a beautiful flavoring for soups. The dried one oftentimes is, is, is just that, it's so dry. 
that it has no flavor and it's 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 typically old really old if you find those bay leaves in the spice section um so sometimes your market uh local whole foods or sprouts or or what you know um whatever it is in your local area just ask if they have the fresh bay leaf it's it's a big difference you can crush it up with your hand and smell the fragranceness and uh, the fragranceness and put it in so here we go got everything going it's starting to stick to the pan pretty good um so i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it going keep it going low and slow um and the flavors will continue to build um next thing is i want to talk about is vegetable stock so um you've all i'm sure seen the vegetable stock that's at a store um there's usually from left to right they'll have uh high sodium low sodium um uh vegetable broth beef broth chicken broth and really they're all the same they all taste the same to me they taste like salty water um who knows what's in there even though it says vegetables and there's a list of ingredients on the back but they all kind of just taste like mildly salty water um it's really important and really helpful and beneficial to any any food that you make or stew or soup to just make your own stock all this is is an onion um some garlic um a few mushrooms and peppercorns and a bay leaf and it's brought to a boil and then simmered for about an hour strained um you can freeze excess stock in into little ice cube packs or you know like an ice tray that's often a good move um or you can freeze it in a big container like this um it'll last about a week plus in your refrigerator and which at that point you can freeze the rest and use it for for stocks and soups and sauces and um and whatever uh let's say you want to just make a quick pot of beans with some onion and garlic and this broth it'll it'll really change the way you cook um it smells good it smells like vegetables um so that'll go in and by adding this broth we deglaze the bottom of the pot and all that good stuff comes off the bottom and that's all the flavor all that good stuff is the flavor um the next and final thing for this soup uh is beans right so beans um these are pretty cool same thing just just simmered with with uh some carrots vegetables um and and water and it creates its own broth it's it's amazing the way this smells uh these are these are called runner beans and you can find these dried at the at a, at a whole foods um they're soaked for about an hour or two and then cooked for about 3 hours they take a long time to cook so a big scoop of these in there um added protein a little bit of that broth uh tons of fiber um probably nutrients just tons of nutrient in this bean look at the, look at this big one this is called a corona bean it's a big lima essentially um really creamy delicious in a soup so i'm going to add these here we go um it's enough broth to kind of cover the veggies by an inch or two i can add a little more at this point i can put a cover on this let it come up to a boil turn the heat down let it simmer for about 20 30 minutes um last step would be a squeeze of a lemon and you're good to go and so the magic about food tv is i have one right here that i took right before you all joined me and you can see how it's how it's come together um the veg let me turn this off there we go uh the vegetables are tender um the broth has kind of changed color it smells delicious What I'm going to do is just finish this soup off by having a lemon, squeeze the lemon into my hand to avoid the seeds dropping in. And um of course, give it a taste. And we've got a nice little soup. So we've got the butternut squash, the carrots, the onions, the celery, the garlic, the broth, the beans, the bay leaf will be removed. and this makes an awesome meal and it took me about without you know too much talking it took me about 10 minutes so there you have it